subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. Hi guys, welcome to Ontogenesis Automation's quick review and quick preparation program. Next thing that comes is your force between two parallel conductor, force between two parallel conductor. So currents in same direction, field strength in the space between the two decreases. See when current flows in the same direction, then the flux, this flux will oppose this flux. So the field strength in, in between this space will decrease, but these conductors will attract each other, very important. When in same current, same direction, current flows in same direction, field strength decreases but attract each other. Currents opposite direction, field strength increases but repel each other. Law of parallel currents, conductors attract each other if current flows in the same direction and repel if opposite. Very, very important, remember, conductors attract each other if current flows in the same direction and repel if in the opposite direction. Force between the two uh, is given by F is equal to mu naught into I1 into I2 L by twice pi D. Now how it comes? See, B is, we know that uh, the flux, uh, flux density, B is what? Uh, B is equal to your mu naught into H. No, and H can be given by your I1 by twice pi D from your uh, this for long solenoid twice pi by D twice pi R or you can say from Ampere's law I by twice pi R. So this is the distance. Okay, so mu naught into I by twice pi I1 by twice pi D. Now F is equal to what? F is equal to B I2 L. F is equal to Bill Santita. Remember Bill Clinton. F is equal to B I B I2 L. So we replace this and we will get mu naught I1 I2 L by twice pi D. So if we uh, calculate this, we will be uh, we will get 2 into 10 to the minus 7 I1 I2 L by D Newton. I1 I2 L by D Newton. Now if I1 I2 equal to 1 ampere and D is equal to 1 meter, then we can define 1 ampere current. 1 ampere current is that current which when flowing in each of the uh, two infinitely long parallel conductors situated at a distance of 1 meter in vacuum produces a force 2 into 10 to the minus 7 Newton per meter length. Remembered? So, 1 ampere current is that current which when flows through two conductors of parallel long, long parallel and 1 meter gap in and they are placed in vacuum then the force produces is 2 into 10 to the minus 7. Remember this. Now see magnetic circuit and electric circuit, they are resembles to each other. So flux is equal to MMF by reluctance and current is equal to EMF by resistance. See in our magnetic circuit flux flows and in uh, electric circuit it is current. So flux and current, EMF and MMF, reluctance and resistance. Phi is equal to B into A, so mu into H into A and you, we know H is equal to Ni by L, so mu Ni by N i a by l now n i by l by mu a n i l by mu a and here we can write i is equal to e by r we know r is equal to l by uh, what we know that r is equal to your rho l by a and rho is nothing but your 1 by sigma conductivity so we can write it in this manner e by l by sigma a so resembles these two. Now see, uh, this is your, this can be your MMF, this is your EMF and this is your reluctance, this is your resistance, okay. L mu A, L sigma A. So this is your I is equal to your N E V into area A, okay. So reluctance, reluctance is S is equal to L by mu into A and resistance is given by R is equal to L by sigma into A, conductivity and permeability. Permeance 1 by S means 1 by reluctance, conductance 1 by R, 1 by resistance. Reluctivity is resistivity, permeability, conductivity 1 by reluctivity, 1 by resistivity. Total MMF is given by phi S1 plus S2 plus S3 and total EMF is given by your I R1 plus R2 plus R3. So, okay. so S is reluctance, R is resistance. 
okay remember these things thank you guys and the last one okay so magnetic circuits magnetic circuits h we know h uh, is the magnetic in uh, field intensity and it is given by your uh, ni by l so b is equal to mu into h mu ni by l phi is equal to b into a ni by l ni by l by mu a already we have gone through the, that so this is the conduct uh, uh, this is a core and there is a coil so flux is going through this now the total length we will consider this the length and this is the area okay composite series circuit now total reluctance is given by your l by sigma l by mu into f means the total reluctance of the circuit means if we if we cut this core into three pieces or if different magnetic materials are used here and of different permeability then how we will get the reluctance l1 by mu1 a1 or l2 plus l2 by mu2 a2 plus l3 by mu3 a3 and there is a air gap so la by mu mu naught into a g mu naught mu naught remember it is the con absolute permeability of air and vacuum so if these are magnetic material then the most permeable of the mmf will be lost here next parallel magnetic circuit average length of the each path is twice l plus l2 if this is uh, this this length we have considered twice l so l1 plus l1 l2 plus l2 so twice l1 plus l2 reluctance s offered by the two parallel path is equal to the half of the reluctance of each path remember this very important reluctance offered by the two parallel path is equal to the half the reluctance of each path okay understood 5 by 2 5 by 2 now series parallel magnetic circuit this was uh, so electric circuit if we resemble this in the same manner then we know that if the, both the uh, if the, these are in parallel then the total resistance will become r by 2 similarly 5 by 2 okay next series parallel magnetic circuit total mmf required equal to mmf for year gap plus mmf required for either of the two paths so this mmf plus the either of the two path okay 5 by 2 5 by 2 r is equal to r1 plus r by 2 so leakage flux leakage flux it is also uh, given by your Hop Hopkinson's leakage coefficient. Okay, so 15 to 20 percent flux leaks away. Leakage coefficient lambda is given by total flux by useful flux. Phi t is the total flux and useful flux is phi. Value of lambda is modern electrical machines varies between 1.1 to 1.25. Uh, magnetization curve. Magnetization. These magnet curves can be determined by using your ballistic galvanometer or flux meter ballistic galvanometer or flux meter okay provided the materials are in the form of a ring provided the material are in the form of a ring so magnetization curves we can get using ballistic galvanometer or your flux meter okay next coefficient of self induction L is equal to n phi by i Henry Weber per ampere turn. A coil is said to be of self inductance of one Henry if a current of one ampere when flowing produces flux of one Weber turned in it. Okay, so L is given by n phi by i n phi by i and phi is nothing but your b into a. So we can write mu h a n by i and mu h h can be given by your n i by L. Okay. So, L is coming as n square by L by mu A. So, see here very important L is directly pro inversely proportional to the reluctance. So, inductance or you can say coefficient of self induction and that is inductance. Inductance is inversely proportional to the reluctance. So, if you need to compare any circuits whether inductance will be in which circuit inductance is more in which circuit inductance is less so you cannot directly compare the inductance so you can compare the reluctance huh? 
so reluctance increases inductance decreases next coefficient of mutual induction m is equal to n to 5 1 by i1 n to 5 1 by i1 henry coefficient of coupling it is the ratio of mutual inductance actually present between the two coils to the maximum possible value k is given by your m L by root over of l1 into l2 and it is always less than 1 l1 into l2 these are the individual self inductance of the two coil and this is the mutual inductance is not it so k is less than 1 if the flux due to the one coil completely links with the other then k equal to 1 if k equal to 0 then magnetically isolated there is no magnetic coupling inductance in series if inductance in series then in l is equal to total inductance is given by l1 plus l2 plus twice m very very important l1 plus l2 plus twice m when when the additive mmf for additive mmf means current is flowing in the same direction current is flowing in the sorry current is flowing in the same direction this is additive current is flowing in the same direction so one flux is added to other l1 plus l2 minus twice m when currents are subtractive mode one for flux opposes other inductance in parallel l is equal to l1 l2 minus m square by l1 plus l2 minus twice m okay when mutual field assist the separate fields l is equal to l1 l2 minus m square by l1 plus l2 plus twice m when two fields oppose each other remember this formula now types of magnetic material already discussed ferro para and dia ferro means iron nickel cobalt etc para aluminum uh, platinum oxygen dia argon uh, sorry gold no gold also dia and silver copper hydrogen air air is dia so for ferro mu is much much greater than 1 para greater than 1 dia less than 1 susceptibility is positive for ferro and para and negative for dia hard magnetic material permanent magnetic material or dc machines we used for to manufacture permanent magnetic material and used in dc machine soft magnetic material in ac machine soft magnetic material and hard magnetic material remember these two in hard magnetic material hysteresis loss is more in soft magnetic material hysteresis loss is less now why this occurs just last point i will uh, complete it in a very rapid manner uh, different materials behave when placed in magnetic fields how different see hysteresis loss is given by your ph is equal to k h beta m means bm flux maximum flux density to the power eta eta is 10 minus constant f is the frequency and in general eta is equal to your 1.6 so we can write k h uh, flu maximum flux density to the power of 1.6 into f remember very very useful uh, very very important also and eddy current is given by your ke beta m square f square so hysteresis loss and eddy current loss depends on your maximum flux density and frequency maximum flux density and frequency ke is given by pi square t square by rho e beta see hysteresis loss you, just i will uh, explain in a uh, rapid manner is, is, since h is equal to your ni by l so n is the number of turns it is constant if l is constant then h is directly proportional to your i i can be given by your i sin omega t so this is this now from here when there is no current flowing first initial so oh, for for the first cycle quarter cycle the b flux density and this is your flux in, uh, intensity so this car goes like this first linear then saturated first linear then saturated then when we for the second quarter when current is decreasing h is decreasing and but b is not coming to zero at, at this point okay when h is zero b is not zero there is some the residual magnetism this is called residual magnetism br residual magnetism so when current is once again increasing in the negative cycle then b becomes zero this is called your coercivity or coercive force very important coercivity or coercive force is that uh, current or you can say that intensity in the negative to make the 
residual magnetism zero okay so this is i will ex, ex, I, I will explain it later on in our uh, conceptual videos okay so just now you understand that this is the loop so when uh, current is going like this so the curve is this h b is not zero here also when h is zero b is not zero negative magne residual magnetism is left this is your force of coercivity once again we need in the positive side and now one after initialization this is, is going like this the area under this loop is given the hysteresis loss okay so the wider the loop the much the loss the wider the loop much is the loss okay so due to continuous change in magnetism there is power loss in the iron core that is called your hysteresis loss hysteresis loss is equal to is proportional to your area of loop hard magnetic material has wider loop higher hc and br hc means coercive force and br hard magnetic material much more residual magnetism higher br higher hc uh, soft magnetic material narrow loop low hysteresis loss so low hc and low br okay low hysteresis uh, and used in ac machines soft magnetic material used in ac machines eddy current e is proportional to your minus d phi dt induced current ie is equal to your e by re so if resistance increases current decreases thus what we do we we laminate the core to increase the resistance in between the circulating current in between the circulating current we increase the resistance so that the eddy current reduces okay so to reduce the eddy current what we do we laminate the core to reduce the eddy current okay guys thank you i hope i have covered uh, most important points of your magnetism and electromagnetic circuits <coughs> all the best for your exams don't get panic once again time is very short but uh, i will try my best to cover most of the topics okay guys once again all the best bye bye पायरल टाइप का बर्डन ट्यूब होगा दिस इज द बर्डन ट्यूब यहां पे देखो ये फिक्स्ड है हम पढ़ते आए हैं कि फिक्स्ड एंड फिक्स्ड एंड सो ये हो गया तुम्हारा प्रेशर गोज